and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, let's talk about how everyone is talking about that no one is talking about the Amazon rainforest burning. Welcome to This Week in Ecology, where I go through the breaking news that is affecting the environment and wildlife today. So you've probably already heard that there is massive fires going on in the Amazon rainforest. This has been going on for a bit of a while now, but really yesterday and today it's picked up crazy traction. And everyone seems to have different ideas on what's the most important thing here. Climate change, indigenous people, cattle ranching. This is a really complicated situation and it goes across boundaries like the political situation industrial farming animal agriculture climate change and how really these fires are going to start being more and more normal and more frequent the situation is the amazon has been burning for a few weeks now so what has started these fires this is a point of contention and there's a lot of even conspiracy theories now about who actually started these fires and why. When I'm not sure what is conspiracy theory and what is real, I look towards the scientists versus the political leaders. And the scientists and the meteorologists are saying that this has to be human caused fire because of the way that it is burning. The Amazon rainforest doesn't have these mass burns like California or Australia has in their bushfires. It has these more softer burns that burn the understory, but don't really do much to the more mature forest structures. Why do humans cause these fires? Cattle ranching, soybean production. So the international demand for meat products, for cheese, for dairy has gone up exponentially in the last few decades. These farmers are clearing the rainforest through burning and fire techniques in order to graze more cattle on the land or to use it for soybean production or other large scale monoculture crops. We've always been clearing for animal agriculture. Why is now it getting out of control? This is where it starts to go from pure fact to a lot of speculation. Many speculate that the reason why these fires are being burnt to a level that we've never seen before is because the Brazilian president, Jair Bolsonaro, is now emboldening these farmers because of his stance on pro-business and pro-agriculture. So when this guy was elected, he ran on the platform of exploring the Amazon's economic potential. <laughs> I think all of you guys know what that political talk means. It means industrial development. It means lowering environmental standards of Amazon development. It means ignoring indigenous voices. And it's starting to get even more ridiculous. The president is now putting on Twitter, it's all a big conspiracy theory. The fires are there because it's a dry season. Does this happen every year? No, it doesn't. We're getting the president saying it's all fake news. It's all made up by the rainforest nonprofit. You always hear about big pharma. What about like big rainforest nonprofit? And they're all making it up. That does not explain why the skies are black in Sao Paulo and we are seeing the rainforest burn at an unprecedented level. So why does this matter? <laughs> I think if you're watching my channel, you know why this matters. The Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. Another big issue is that it's not always just about what you and I get from the rainforest. It's about what the indigenous people who live there are experiencing, being forced out of their homes, being forced out of their traditional territory. When the fires were going on in California and the fires this year in Australia, it's absolutely devastating to see people lose their land. What about people who can't go anywhere else because all of their prosperity, their wealth, their culture is tied to their traditional lands? Not to diminish how horrible it is for anyone to lose a house, but imagine relying on the environment, the rainforest for everything, spiritually, for the roof that's over your head, your connection to your land, and then losing that because someone wants to develop the land for cattle grazing so that people in a foreign land can eat burgers because mmm, cheese. No, that's, oh, I, I really just don't wanna see anyone discounting the fact that on a day-to-day -day basis, 
outside of this fire, up to 90% of Amazon deforestation can be blamed on animal agriculture or monoculture crops that are grown in order to supply feed for the world's animals. What can you do? I gotta, I gotta wrap this up. Stop eating beef, animal products. Amazon beef is found in fast food restaurants and processed foods. However, there's a lot of other environmental arguments for why even free range farming is contributing towards global climate change. Eat local and sustainable to your region. Also, you can donate to many Rainforest Action nonprofits. I will put them on the screen now and also link to them below. Awareness is great, but if those awareness points don't turn into dollars, it's much less useful. As always, continue to advocate for political change. While I think personal consumption is definitely something you have to watch, we are not going to solve this global eco crisis if we do not advocate for leaders that advocate for the environment. I'm not talking about people who say they care about the environment, but their actions do not reflect them caring about the environment. <coughs> Justin Trudeau. I mean people who actually take steps towards environmental conservation. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.